Welcome to Quantum Conundrum. That sounds fun to say. Quantum Conundrum. Yeah. Anyway, the very generous Arcades dude gifted me this game on Steam. And since I'm going to play it anyway, duh, I thought, well, you know, Michael, Michael, you could as well record it. Thanks, Brain. That's a very nice idea. So, welcome to Quantum Conundrum. I still love to say that. Quantum Conundrum. Quantum Conundrum. If I could rap, I'd probably do a rap to it. But I can't. So, I just play this game. Features John DeLancey. John DeLancey. Lancey? How oh, you want to say his name? You might know him as Q or as Discord. And yeah, let's play it. I shut up for the intro. Once upon a time, that's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Well, let's see here. If I configure the trans-dimensional velocity regulator at approximately 0 0.887 microseconds past the... Oh, you're here? I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. Yeah, you can move. If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. Uh, there you go. Oh. Yay! Ah, oh, you confounded machine! What? Oh. Whoa. What oh. was that? What is he doing? John? I'm just gonna call him John. Looks nothing like him. Look at that. Look. Oh my god, the phone. Seriously, be right back. And I'm back. Again. Stupid phone. Uh, where were we? Yes. Luggage. That doesn't look anything like John Lancey. Anyway! That's a book. What's this book about? The Wizard of Osmium. Ah, 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 ah. Nerd jokes. Hmm. Let's go here. Oh, good. There should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Now, where on earth did I put that? Here, you put it here. Uh. What the hell? Come on. What? Oh, yes, I'd forgotten. You're not particularly tall, are you? You should be able to use your luggage to give you an extra boost. Oh, right. The puzzles are already starting. Okay. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Something isn't quite right here. Oh, no, 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 no! Yes? Ah! Oh. Whoa! Huh? Hello. Okay. Is everything? Wait. What just happened? I'm not entirely sure where I am right now. The security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and 
Hello, you, you, you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. Sure. Ah, it seems as if I can still tap into the intercom system. Well, I most certainly can do better than this. Testing, 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 testing. There, ha, huh. much better. Indeed. Now, <clears throat> what in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here today? No uh. matter. Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Do me and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. Sure. I'll do that. I'll see this armor. Yeah, yes, yes. And this dangerous looking door. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, and then. I don't know. I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. Do you hear that? Uh, Mansfield Pulsar. I don't know what that is a reference to. Oh my god, that's a lot of books. Can we? Nope, we can look at them. The Call of the White Banana. <laughs> ah, so much no jokes. Much? Many. That looks cool. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Mm hmm. It's Power Glove from Nintendo. How nice. What's this book? Uh, Prime and Probability. <laughs> Great exponent exponenti exponentiations. <laughs> Throw that switch there. It should be the one. Not the button. The switch. Yes, switch. There we go. Fix that for you. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. <laughs> Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Taco shop. Freshly milked tacos? Okay. <laughs> Read to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Be sure to turn handle in the correct direction. A robotic dinosaur thing? Sure. Blueprint tube. A blueprint tube, seriously. And a plutonium powered moustache machine. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's more here. Nuclear clothes dryer, hot air, or bacon. Mmm, yum, bacon. I'm getting hungry. And. It's a moustache machine again. So, where was I supposed to go? Here? I didn't pay attention, I was looking at the blueprints. Okay, yeah. So. Damn it, I should have paid attention. Up here, maybe? If you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. Ah, yes. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. Blue. Unfortunately, 
these don't help me at any way indicating where I have to go, so... It's... Not here. It's the blue light down there, maybe? I can only guess. And that's not even... Matched to the... Or is it? It actually is. This looks a bit weird. Oh yes, blue room. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, visited. Okay. Uh, that. There we go. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Get back. Yes, yes, rifts, rifts and stuff. Okay, sure, rifts. Let's let's go. Let's go. There's my sheet from the intro. With my freeze ray, I will stop the world. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Yes. Be a what? Oh my god, did he write all these books? Horatio. What's up with these textures? The streaming is horrible. Hornblower, Horatio Hornblower. And... Morby Decrement. Through the looking spectrometer. <sighs> so my glove can access rifts in time and space. Time Lord of the Rings. That's a double. Uh, reference. Oh my god. I just, I'm just, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna look at all these books. Beyond Fluffy and Heavy. War of the Pearl <laughs> Worlds. Oh god. This episode is gonna, just gonna be me looking at books, at book titles. Even more. He's got a lot of copies of Beowulf. Whoa, whoa, these books are super jumpy. Moby the Chromat. It's the same one, I think. No. Phenomenal. Come on, new books. The Man in the Iron Mask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where is it iron? Yeah. Fe. Fe60? I'm not sure. Is Fe60 iron or is it like steel or something? Or some super rare iron. I don't know. I should have paid more attention. Time Lord? What's this? Great. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, more books! Uh can reach those, but I think those are the same ones I've already seen. What? R Horatio, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Glove. Don't forget about the glove. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. Mm hmm. This door is using one of my inventions, the repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. Yeah. Well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. 
Mm -hmm. What kind of receptacle? Are you talking... This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is Fluffy Dimension. Yay! In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. I like Fluffy Dimension already. Whoops. Come on. Fluffy Dimension. Uh, I didn't notice the ledge there. There we go. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Remember not to do that. There we go. But books, more books. Great explanations. Okay, this is gonna be difficult reading all these. The quark. Ah, damn it! Let me just let me read those books. The quark and the quark of Monte Cristo. And let's put this in the light so we can. Seven brides. Roots. Root. Square root. Of, no. I suck at math. I'm sorry. Root or square root of seven brides for square root of seven brothers. What's this? What's, this? What's the root of s the square root of seven? Is it? I don't know what the square root is, and I don't know what the original book title is. Four brides for seven brothers? I don't know. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Beowulf. Oh, why can't I pick up this one? There we go. Atlas Shifter. Oh, these books. Alright, let's go in here. Strange lamp. Oh god, I think it's all... Great expo- yeah, it's all one book. Okay. There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Hello, Desmond. This here? Something to note. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. Let me try that again. You remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. So I'm thinking, yes, perfect. I'm smart and stuff. See, I figured it out on my own. Wolf, wump. Uh, pick it up. Come on. How do I? Uh, I have to figure out how to controls. There is in fact no crouch button. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So jump. Oh, all right. We can just jump over that. I'm overthinking things. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. That one? Well, there's not a lot of other stuff mounted on the wall. Well, except that, but this looks more like... That receptacle will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Mm-hmm. But first, books! 
This is gonna be very trying for the viewers. Just me looking at the books. Hoping that there's some new ones. Oh, there's a new one. Or no. Prime and probability. We have already seen that. Yeah. 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 Mm, to kill a lot of mockingbird. <laughs> Call of Wild Is Beowulf? No. Great Exponentation. Sorry, I'm misbuttering that title. Great Exponentiations. There we go. This one is. Square root thing. War of the Pearl Worlds, the original uh, Sinus one. Very clever, very clever. Or is it one or is it minus one? I can't. Come on! I don't know, is that how you write Sinus one or is it Sinus minus one? Sinus to the minus one? Sinus to the one? Sin sinus? Yeah, I didn't pay much attention in math. Sue me. More stuff up here. This is just gonna be me playing the game and this is exactly what I would be doing if I'm playing the game. I'm just looking at all the books. Hitchhiker's Guide to Dimensions. I approve of this one. Exponentiations, exponentiations, Beowulf, Beowulf, no. <laughs> David Copper, Field Theory. Another one. Atlas Shift, okay. No new books, it's okay. Whee! Let's... Oh. So... Ah. Here we go. So, As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. Yes. Mansfield Pulse or... I don't know which one, which book that's referring to. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. To you, a cloning device. Mm -hmm. I like my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Whoops. Oh, I'll need to tune that later. I see what you want me to do. There you go. I know I don't have to throw it, do I? I can take it back out. Anyway. Let's see if I can use a couch for this. I can. Perfect. Empty shelves. Lasers! I like lasers. It's gonna be fun. So... These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope yttrium aluminum garnet lasers <laughs> using an alternating ray configuration. Yes. Gives them an extra kick. What you say. Exactly what you were saying. So... Throw something over there, I guess? Yes. What's this laser for? Meh. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. No, but I like breaking. Actually, I don't like breaking glass. Um. What's this? Secrets? Oh, just a safe way down without jumping. And... Move it over there somehow. 
Let's see. Ah, just letting you know that you reset the glass. Thank you. Ah. Okay, so... Fluffy. This. Yay! We figured it out. I'm smart and stuff. Well, not really, but... Uh... Yay. And I'll probably have to take this with me. Huh. Okay. So... Well, how do we do that? Nope. Okay, that's definitely not the solution. And I fucked my way. Oh, that oh. Uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. Uh huh. Just wondering. That's kind of cute. I guess I could just. So. a bit weird. How do I do this? Can I carry one of those? No. Okay, I admit you've stumped me. Now, time out to solve this puzzle. What changes when I... What's, what's this? No. Please don't scream at the screen. that do can I so how do I oh no oh wait wait I throw it over if I do it properly of course oh my god that was really stupid of me There we go. Jesus. I know, I'm face palming right now. Actually I'm not. I'm having I have my hand on my keyboard. One second. I'll face palm. There we go. I just face palm for you. I hope you're happy doing all this just for you. Look at this weird texture streaming. This is irritating. It's like rage, but Amplified by 5,000 because you want to read stuff. Stop for a minute and take a look at the painting. This one? The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. The original quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Whee. Still falls at the same rate. Okay, so that's not the solution. That's not the solution either. Oh. In case you're wondering, you turned on a fan. Please say that you don't need me to explain that to you. Yeah. 
Is he just gonna continue doing that? <laughs> huh. There we go. Actually, doesn't. That's very useful. Ah, that's where that got to. That is a botched experiment of mine called the awkward noise generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Oh, collectible. Yay. So I actually did that for no reason. Just jumped on here. Standard issue conveyor belts. So much easier than carrying things yourself. <laughs> Those things are weird. Ikes. I think that's what they were called, right? And I gotta admit, this game is a little bit buggy. I don't know why it picked that up when I was clearly not aiming it at that. I think it just picks up the nearest thing instead of things you're aiming at. <sighs> More books. Kill what? Heart of Dark Matter. <laughs> Whee. I'm actually surprised that my graphics card cooler hasn't died yet. It usually does around the half hour mark of playing a game. Oh! What the? What the fuck Sometimes just happened? laziness should be indulged. So there is an endless pit just hanging out over there. Because, hey, why not? Who do doesn't want a bottomless pit in their mansion? I have one of those in my living room. Why? So, I haven't discussed my location a whole lot, but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. I think I may explore a bit and see what turns up. Because that always turns out well. Mm -hmm. Why, well, just last week I explored limbo. The game. Okay, that was very stale. Uh -huh. Yay, more fluffy. Think. Yeah. Cloud is fluffy. So Well I guess Right. Uh You're not helping my headache right now. There we go. Hmm. So we Do this. Shwoop. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Easy peasy. Wait, actually. Did this open? Nah. Okay. Onwards to adventure. Big fan. Cables. Uh huh. Not 
got some change. Mm-hmm. Keep Fluffy on. I can jump over stuff. Here we go. So Go up there first. No, but that's not turning. So never mind that. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's throw it again. Let's see what happens with Fluffy. I think I just have to get those there, but that's not gonna help me either. So, like before, this time, uh, yeah, it's not helping either. Why did I line so nicely last time? So, oh, I can just. Arrange them my own way. They're gonna stick to the wall, and I think I can just jump on them too. Yes. So. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I know how to do this. Except if it only lasts for a while. This room often gets rather sweltering in the summertime. Air circulation is very important. Oh, shit! Uh, should have waited a little more longer for jumping off. Up there. Whee! Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's hope I can jump this. I don't want to fail. Jump. There we go. The physicality of that still completely baffles me. What is it? Hooray. With these specifications, you should be able to recreate several objects in the research and development lab adjacent to my office. Yeah. Cool. I like that. So, did we finish level one? Are we done? This is one of the animals that Dolly cloned to rather, well, intriguing results. Looks just like a... Thus was produced the world's first and only fully elastic dog. Oh. I named her Angstrom. You know, come to think of it, it reminds me of this toy from the 80s. Stretch... Stretch something. I thought it was just a long dog. A duck's hunt, if you will. There... Okay, I remember that I have to look, keep a lookout for things. 
now. Ah, you've moved on to a part of the manor where another type of dimensional rift is accessible. This is the Gravid Wolfram dimension, or Heavy for short. This dimension is in direct opposition to the Fluffy dimension and will make things ten times heavier. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Can we... S I hope this is actually a checkpoint because the length of the episode is going quite far just about now. So I'm hopefully gonna return back here. And I hope that we'll see you around next time. Bye bye.